Hello everyone, welcome to The Geekdom, the place where we outcasts come to talk about the things we love. And today, we're talking Lego Star Wars, the 25th anniversary. We've got some amazing sets coming up with Darth Vader's hallway, the new R2-D2. But today, I'm showing you a custom set of mine to celebrate this great event. And what better set could we do than the Darth Maul hallway scene? There's been three iconic hallway scenes in Star Wars so far. We've had Luke's hallway scene in The Mandalorian, Vader's in Rogue One and Maul's from the final season of The Clone Wars. And as of this 25th anniversary wave, two out of three of these hallway scenes have been created in Lego. So I took it upon myself to create the final one. And here we are. This is a Venator hallway. We have five minifigures in this set. We have Darth Maul, three 330 second clone troopers, and a special ARC Trooper Fordo from the original Clone Wars cartoon as the special 25th anniversary. Before we get into the minifigures though, let's just take a quick look at the set itself. Now this set is huge. It's so much bigger than the one we got in the Luke Skywalker hallway scene. It's got an entire section of hallway added onto it and I personally think it looks a lot cooler. The fact that it's bigger, it gives you more space to play around with uh, and it gave me more space to have some really cool features. For example, the first thing that you're going to notice is the sliding doors. Now an iconic part of Maul's hallway scene is when he completely removes a clone trooper's arm using the blast doors of the Venator. To recreate that, I, I created two brick-built doors. Now, they're both using slope bricks so that when they meet in the middle, it creates like a flush surface next to each other, which looks really, really nice. And to stop them from flying all over the place, I've used some of those one-by-one -one handle pieces to stop them as soon as they reach the door. They slide on a row of flat one-by-fours, and it creates just a wonderful effect. It, it makes it seem more like a spaceship hallway than any of the other hallways we've had before, and this way we can remove clones' arms with each. On the side of the doorway, we obviously have um, those one by one tiles as you can see there in the trans red trans clear and black um, Just a little nod to the um, Luke Skywalker uh, hallway sequence um, Because on that Lego set it did have those buttons for the elevator And I just thought it would be a cool little addition and a nod to one of my favorite sets at the top end of the set uh, We've got a doorway uh, the doorway leads to nowhere, but it's just in the background. It's just for um, it's just because in the sequence behind Maul, you can see that there's a doorway going somewhere. And obviously on either side of him, there's those open doorways. Uh, if you had multiple of this set, I suppose you could combine them to, to create a giant floor plan for the Venator class Star Destroyer, uh, which would look really cool. Uh, I, might, I might do that one day. And if I do combine this set with multiple others to create a giant Venator, I will be posting those pictures over on the Instagram. So give that a follow because it'll post all the stuff about the sets that don't make it here on YouTube. Moving forward down the hallway, we've got a few play features in this set, which I don't usually do, so this was quite fun. We've got um, some sections of the wall that can be pulled outwards. Now, in the episode of The Clone Wars, Maul has no lightsaber, so he utilizes the surrounding environment to basically destroy the clone troopers. So, what I've done is, I've used some Technic pins and some like a one by two bricks with a hole in the middle uh, in order to create these like pushable sections of the wall. Um, as you can see here on the screen, you can see you can just move them in and out. You can pull them out to your heart's desire if you want more to just absolutely destroy some clone troopers. Then obviously we have the doorway and then just an extra open section for the clones to stand in. Now this set is very open plan, so you can fit a ton of minifigures in here. That was my issues with the other sets. You couldn't fit as many minifigures as you wanted in here. And this one, you can just stacks and stacks of clone troopers to fight Maul. And we know Maul would destroy them all anyway, because let's face it, Maul is one of the coolest characters in Star Wars. And as one of the coolest characters in Star Wars, he needed a good minifigure. Now, basically what I've done for these figures is I've tried to just make slight improvements to figures that we've already had before. Now, the Darth Maul is extremely, extremely similar to the one we got in the uh, Siege of Mandalore set with Ahsoka. However, main change is I made the colors more accurate. For one, his like dark gray sections have now been turned into brown like they are in the show, which just makes the figure pop way more. It really complements the red. Uh, his arms have got some brand new printing as well. Just on one side, just his kind of standard gauntlet, but on the other side, I've given him that clone wrist bracer. Now, obviously in the episode when he decapitates that clone's arm, he uh, steals the, the comlink from his arm. So I've wanted to put that on more. Another thing that I've changed about Maul is his face. I know it looks very similar, but he's just got a more angry expression, like the snarl, and also the horns are the correct colors as well. Um, I wanted to add some printing to the horns because it really annoys me that we've never got one in color. Now for the clones, I did a little bit less work. The arms are brand new, obviously. They've got those um, comlinks on their wrists and those cool shoulder pauldrons. 
as well as being printed on a black arm as well, which I think really makes the figure pop. Um, but the key difference is the brand new helmet prints. Um, I've tried to make them as accurate as possible. I hate the way the prints sit on the usual um, clone helmets. So what I've done is I've kind of stretched out the visor a little bit more, make it fill the mask a bit more, as well as using more accurate colors and making a bit more of a weathered battle damage look to make these clone helmets look far more realistic and just far more accurate to the source material. Final figure in this set is the 25th anniversary figure. Now all of the sets that we are having in this summer wave are having with 25th anniversary minifigures. And I was racking my brain trying to think of a character that we haven't got from LEGO yet that everyone wants. And the first one that came to mind was Captain Fordo. Now this guy, if you haven't seen the original 2003 Clone Wars show, you should definitely go and watch it, it's fantastic. But this is one of the most badass clone troopers we have ever seen in Star Wars. And I love this guy's armor. Very simple stuff, it's just red and white, but it's so iconic. Um, he's got the same sort of printing on his arms as my other clones in this set, uh, obviously matching with his color scheme of red and black. Um, and he's got a brand new waist cape with some printing on it, which is nice. Um, so yeah, he's got that red and black waist cape as well as a brand new custom molded piece for his shoulder pauldron. Um, he's got the one pauldron on the side in red as well as having that sort of arc trooper pouch um, with the uh, two bolts on it, more accurate to the 2003 show. Um, his torso has very little printing other than just like regular clone printing as well as those four red dots to signify his rank. And finally, we've got his helmet, which just looks super, super cool. The red really, really pops, and I wanted to make it as cartoonish as possible. Um, so, so those lines, are, uh, they're not very well blended or anything. I just wanted them to pop off the mask, just like they did in the Clone Wars show. He's also got that grey antenna, and he comes on that wonderful 25 years of LEGO Star Wars base as well. Well, everyone, that's it for today. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have, feel free to like, subscribe down below and tell me what you think of the new LEGO Star Wars sets in the comments down below as well. If you've got any ideas for any future videos, don't hesitate to put those in the comments as well. And while you're there, you might as well subscribe to my second channel if you like Star Wars. But once again, guys, I do hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you later. May the force be with you.